Hello guys and welcome to the next lesson. This is lesson 5 and we will build our render setup. So let's get started. Let's get a shop network and an out network. So rob network, let's call this out and let's call the shop net redshift. Red shift. Let's color this in and let's for now create one material. So let's make a redshift network here. Let's call this Mats Geo 001. Let's dive inside and let's create an RS material. Let's make it rough, so 0 0.25 and that's just it for now. Let's go to the out. Let's get a redshift custom here. Let's color this in red. And for now, leave just everything. And we need a camera. So, new camera. And for organization, let's get a sticky nose here. And let's call this red shift. Redshift, right click, um, hide background, right click, set text size middle, and now let's get a color on here. And now we can label this. So, redshift, this is our camera, and this is our uh, proxy and uh, geo. And here will be our light, light, or lights. Cool. So this is a little bit more organized. Let's go here. Let's make a 45 millimeter lens. Let's make full HD output. Let's get a cool angle here, something like that. Let's go to the sampling. Let's copy the focus distance and let's go to redshift camera, DOF, so depth of field. Let's uncheck this marker here, use Houdini camera f-stop. Let's paste the uh, focus distance here in. So right click, paste relative reference and let's make here 0.1. So this will be our bokeh effect. So let's dive out, let's have a look. Cool. And let's just got a quick RS downlight in here. So let's color this. I like to color my lights yellow. Let's go RS dome. And let's get a quick quick and simple downlight here. So something like that. And let's have a look. So let's start the render view from Redshift. And we can already see here we will get our whole proxies. Let's get the focus here. And that also looks pretty cool. So we now enabled with the Redshift proxies to get our 5000 times 2.0 8 millions. Let's get 5000 times million. So that's pretty uh, a pretty good uh, polygon count, 14 billion. That's not bad. And we can render this. And this is a really really nice feature of Redshift. So and you can already see we uh, get a random rotation here and the cool thing it's pretty fast. So let's disable the redshift render window here because I want you to see it better what I do. So just make split pane top and bottom to get something like this and let's make here a new redshift render view. So that's better. 
So let's make this a little bit bigger and this a little bit bigger. So you can see this better, what I do. So let's get to the camera and let's get the CRC radius a little bit more, mm, not so harsh. So something like 0 0.025. So let's move with the camera a little bit. Be sure you lock the camera. And now we can already get some pretty co cool perspectives out of here. So something like this looks pretty nice. Or something from the top. Let's go to the top here. And let's search here a pretty good. Something like that. Let's get a, this a little bit more to the point of interest. So let's move the camera a little bit to the right. So we will get this, these pieces here into focus. And now we can get our material onto it. So let's get our material here and let's make it red so we can see it. And at the beginning it's it's not applied. So we need of course to apply the material. That's pretty simple. We can make here under the redshift proxy out. Let's go to or is it here? I think it's here, yeah. Let's go to the proxy, yeah. Let's go here to our redshift, to the proxy, and let's get um, proxy materials. Let's make a full override. And now you can choose your uh, material here. So let's get from C material. So we can choose a, a, a variety of things here. And let's get make here plus. So you can replace a uh, material if you want to, but now we want to make a full override here. Or you can choose from OBJ now, I think that's the simplest one, and let's just pick here the material. So redshift material. Let's reload this. And we have our material applied, it's pretty cool. Orange, that's maybe not the thing. Let's make it a little, little bit more darker, something like this. So, now let's play with some light setups. So, don't use a dome light. Or, I will show you how to not use a dome light to make a little bit more custom one. So, I will disable this for now. Let's get back to the normal sizes here. And I want two lights, so to create a kind of look, uh, let me look up here. What it was? So something like this one here. So maybe a red light from left and a bluish cold light from above and right. So let's try to recreate something like that. Let's get some lights here. So let's for now get into flat wire shaded. And let's get some lights. So let's go to this view here. And let's press Control and under RS light. And you get a light here. Let's get one here. Control R slide and we've got two lights. So one light here and one light down there. Let's move them a little bit closer. So this will be our red side light. And this will our our other fill light. Just call it no no not an update.
so something like that and let's get into our camera for now and let's hit the render view and we will get something pretty unspectacular like this so let's adjust the light I will move that to the side quick you don't need to see that because we will adjust the lights and let's first make it round and let's make it a little bit bigger here and of course the other light too let's make it round and let's make this way bigger so maybe 3 by 3 let's go with the intensity down a little bit so maybe 2 here and 1 here not 1000, 1 and let's move that a little bit to the red to the red here and we will get something like this so it's pretty soft the red so let's play with the intensity a little bit so maybe maybe try three and let's get this a slightly uh, blue tint so let's go here to the blue and let's get this down here a little bit that looks not bad so you can already play with LUTs and stuff like that or make it with the photogrammic experts a little bit lighter or darker get some blue bloom in there and so on and so on but now we want to use our own maps so let's get here and here Let's just for now disable these two lights and let's get this dome with no HDRI. So we will just get um, one big uniform light dome. And let's make another camera, so cam 2. And this will be our RD cam. Let's dive into, let's refresh it here and dive into the RD cam and let's get RD cam here. Let's lock the view and let's zoom a little bit in on one rock and let's get here the COSC radius way down, so something like that. And we will get this close up here. And now we can play with the material. So let's go to our material and let's go to the texture. So our texture, let's get our texture in. So to the course, um, out image. And we did in the last tutorial, we did some images here with the cops and let's get something like that here and let's try it as a diffuse but let's get a tree planner shader here so connect this and we will get a tree planner shading so but I want this onto the bump so let's get a bump map here and let's get this into the bump slot and you already can see we've got a pretty cool bump map here but the strength of the bump map is in my opinion a little bit too strong so let's get it down to 0 0.1 that's way better so let's get down to our cam 1 And let's play a little bit with the material. So I want to get a uh, other diffuse color because this is pretty uniform here. So let's get a noise. Let's get a RS noise. Let's pipe this in here. And you can already see the noise. You can also pipe it in here to the surface to get a a little bit better look so let's make this noise a little bit harder something like that 
Let's make the complex uh, complexity a little bit higher, so 5, and of course you can now play with the scale and stuff like that. So I get something like this here. Let's get an Arts ramp. Let's change the ramp to Alt. And now you can remake, remap the whole noise, so the color from the noise. So now it looks like this, this is not so cool. So let's get pretty dark here and a pretty dark on the other side. Of course you can change it to yellow or something that looks not bad either. To make it a little bit brighter. Of course you can play with the presets. The presets are I think a pretty cool way to get a kind of look fast. I like to use the copper material a lot and you can already see this is pretty cool a copper <laughs> copper planet or something like that. And now let's get back to our other material. Dark and moody. <laughs> And uh, let's dive out here. Let's disable this light and enable the other ones. So this is of course um, way too dark. So we need to bright this a little bit up to make the fill light a little bit more stronger. 25, yeah that looks not bad. Let's get a fixed scaling here down to render it a little bit more faster. But now our let's get this a little bit more in the red. And let's make this 10. Now that's too much. Yeah, something like that. So now let's have a look on a on a little window here. So let's get these guys, let's rearrange, rearrange the focus point and let's go to our redshift. So into our rub network or out and let's get here and let's enable the bucket rendering mode so we can see what we need for sampling. So first of all increase the secondary samples. That's a little bit better. So let's get the reflections and you can already see we will get some better noise patterns here. Let's get 256 on the light as well. So way more, uh, way, way less noise there. So let's enable the brute force as well. And let's dive up the uniform samples and the adaptive error threshold. And we will get a pretty clean image here. Cool. So I will render this out and I will see you in just a second.